according to NASA, we're going to face a 100-year-long drought, a drought more devastating than the 1930 Dust Bowl that forced America to plunge into crisis and left millions of people without the basics of life, like water and food. People think the drought from the past 15 years in California is a big deal, when in fact, it's only the beginning. The coming drought is so big that it's going to affect the entire continent, from Mexico to Canada, and it doesn't have anything to do with the global warming hoax, but with a strange weather pattern that happens once every thousand years. And the worst part is, this drought will crush the American civilization because we're completely unprepared. My name is John Gilmore. And in this short presentation, I'll explain why the mainstream ways for finding or storing water to quench your family's thirst will be useless in the coming 100-year drought. Why relying on them will actually make you vulnerable and dependent on FEMA, the government, or greedy water suppliers. And even worse, they put a big bullseye on your house, making you the best target for looters that will kill for a sip of water. And I'll also give you the answer for all these problems, a surprising invention from the Israeli army that makes water out of thin air, even in the desert, a portable water generator that gives up to 50 gallons of water per day. It doesn't matter if all the wells are dried out or if you live in the desert where it's so dry that even all the cactuses died. This method makes you truly independent. You'll never have to rely on a water well that might dry out soon or on rain harvesting if you're lucky enough to have rain, and if you live in one of the states where it's not banned yet. So stick with me, because you're about to find out how to tap into nature's secret water reservoir. Right before I got the chance to discover this miraculous solution, I almost died. Like I said, my name is John Gilmore. You might know me from Survivopedia.com. I'm a writer and an editor there. People usually seek my advice because I'm specialized in wilderness survival and because I spent almost two decades studying every last type of survival situation. I try to help everyone I can, giving them practical, safe guidelines that would actually make a difference in survival scenarios. Perhaps even more important, I'm a proud father and husband, and I strive to make a positive mark in this world. I live on a small farm close to Arizona with my wife and my 14-year-old son, and we're self-sufficient people. We grow our own food and built our own house. We even dug our own well to have all the water we needed. Little did we know, this drought was going to hit us so hard. Two years ago, our well completely dried out. Each year, the water level in our well seemed to be dropping, and last year, it finally gave up on us. We didn't really panic because we had stockpiled a water supply of about 500 gallons. We knew it should last us long enough till we could dig a new well. A couple of nights after we applied for a new well, I heard some noises outside the house. I grabbed my rifle and rushed out to see what it was. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. There were two men loading our water barrels into their truck. They didn't try to come in. They weren't looking for money or electronics. They were stealing the water we relied on for our survival. I felt a rush of rage and anger building inside me. I felt I could shoot them both right there on my property. But before I could aim my rifle, I felt the cold barrel of a gun pressed upon my neck. Sorry, pal. We're taking your water. It was a third robber, and he was probably on the lookout. I got caught up in the moment, and I didn't see he was sneaking up behind me. Before I had the chance to say anything... He hit me with his gun. I heard a bang and felt this excruciating pain in the back of my head. And then I lost consciousness. My wife found me in a pool of my own blood after the water thieves left. I couldn't believe anyone would do such a thing. The drought turns people into savages. And then it hit me. What happens if the drought continues? What will people become? Will they even kill for water? People are already desperate. They turned into animals because the past 15 years have been rough on all of us. The drought hit us hard, and there's no sign it's going to get any better anytime soon. In fact, I discovered that the next war won't be fought for oil, but for water. The fight to grab the remaining water already started in America. It's a covered-up civil war. On one side, there's the corporations who buy all the water reserves they can, plus Obama's government who's trying to pass EPA regulations that give the feds the right to confiscate our water on our lands as they see fit. On the other side, it's you and me, the people, who have no power to fight them, all those who are forced to pay for dirty tap water or their expensive bottled water. So why are they doing this? It's because of what NASA is predicting. NASA has scientific proof that we're facing a drought that's going to last 100 years. A 100-year mega drought, similar to the one that wiped out the American continent a thousand years ago. This might come as a shock. You might say I'm full of beans or that I'm bending the truth. That's why I will try to back everything with hard facts. I'll show you proof that this mega drought is happening again. 
There's a reason why no real civilization developed on the American continent until the coming of European immigrants in the 17th century. Until then, America wasn't fit for modern life, for agriculture, and for building villages and cities. Why? Because for hundreds of years, America was a desert. In fact, December 2012, Columbia University published a frightening report. They found out that from around the year 900 and up to the year 1300, there was a mega drought on the American continent. It was so extreme that we have no modern comparison. It was the only time and place it ever happened. The bad news is, history repeats itself, and these harsh conditions that made modern life unbearable in America are now returning. This is the reason why NASA is using expensive satellites to study water, both above and below the ground. What's frightening is there's water disappearing all throughout the American continent, not just in the USA. Take Lake Mead, for example, the largest water reservoir in the U.S., now sinks to a record low. It reached its lowest level since the lake was first filled out in 1930. And that's not all. There are plenty of lakes in California just vanishing because of the high demand from households and parched farmers. The lakes just don't have enough time to fill themselves before they're drained dry again and again. And the result is shocking. Here's the picture of Lake Oroville that reveals the shriveling effects of the drought. Just imagine, if the drought keeps getting worse and there's no proof of it getting any better, Lakes like these can disappear in as little as three to four years. And it's happening on the entire American continent. We're turning into a desert. The Canadian Lake Superior, the world's largest freshwater lake, has dropped to its lowest level in 81 years. And that's not all. Since 2004, the Colorado River Basin, which supplies water for 40 million people in seven states, has lost twice as much water as there is in the entire Lake Mead, our largest reservoir. The Ogallala Aquifer, America's largest source of underground water that supplies most of our wells and springs, is shrinking because of too much demand. It will be devastating to millions of people. In fact, when the Dust Bowl overtook the Great Plains in the 1930s and the Ogallala Aquifer wasn't discovered, the result was death, famine, and the ones that were lucky enough, relocation. We all saw or heard about the consequences. Because of drought, people's lives changed dramatically. A family of three from East Porterville says they bathe by filling a bucket from the tank in the front yard, carry it inside, and pour water over their heads with a cup. Just imagine what it's like to flush the toilet, and nothing happens. It's like you switch to an African lifestyle overnight. In Texas, there are thousands of cattle dying of thirst, when they're not downright killed by their owners. Thousands of crops disappearing all throughout our country, people dying of thirst and dehydration, old folks suffering of heat strokes. But what most people don't know is that it's going to be a lot worse. As the New York Times reports on the fifth assessment of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, they mentioned in each of the next 80 years, America is expected to see less and less rainfall than in 2004, for instance, when the drought already was full-blown. And the 2000 to 2004 droughts already topped legendary events as the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. In fact, all these dots connect to a bigger picture. The American continent, from Canada to Mexico, is returning to the norm of a thousand years ago, meaning 90% of the water we have now will be gone sooner than you think. There won't be any water for people to cook or wash, not even to drink, and that's when viruses will start to spread, just like it's happening in Africa. Diseases and infections that start with leaving your mouth and skin dry, then headaches, rapid heartbeats and fever. People will fight over a sip of water just to stay alive. And because most of our crops will be gone, We'll have to fight over scraps so we don't starve. All this will lead to downright war. It happened already before. Drought led to the Syrian war. Most people think this is some kind of Mad Max scenario and it will never happen here. But it already did. Just think about the war in Syria. Nobody ever talks about how everything started. From 2006 to 2011, up to 60% of Syria's land experienced the worst long-term drought since civilizations began. By 2011, 3 million people lost their entire livelihood because of the drought. Then, in March 2011, the Syrian civil war began. The government against its own people, killing up to 300,000 people until now. In the U.S., the people who have the power already know how catastrophic the drought will be. And that's why the corporations and our government work together to secure all the water resources for themselves. On one hand, there's corporations like Nestle who bottle water in drought-crippled California. After all, it was the Nestle CEO who said, water isn't a human right, and it should be privatized. 
Worse, there are more than 100 bottled water facilities operating in California. While people are suffering and don't have access to any clean, fresh water, the corporations grabbed whatever water resources were left and sold the water back to us in plastic bottles for up to $10 a gallon. And on the other hand, it's the government who uses EPA regulations to redefine the term navigable waters to even the smallest creek in your backyard. This means all the water on the American continent will be in the hands of the government. In fact, they'll have federal authority over your water and land and could seize it at any time. What do you think will happen to the U.S. when water will be even scarcer? I, for one, decided to put my family first to protect my life and my independence no matter what. I couldn't rely on wells, and neither can any American. NASA warns that 100,000 wells are about to dry out in 2015. As the drought gets worse, eventually, every well will dry up. In fact, like the drought wasn't enough, America's oil and gas corporations are draining and contaminating water supplies even in the driest areas of the country, from Texas to California. And that's not all. A report from the Central Valley Water Board found high levels of toxic chemicals, arsenic, thallium, and nitrates in our water supplies. Filtering the water is becoming an impossible mission. America's oil and gas corporations are contaminating our water supplies even in the driest areas of the country, from Texas to California. High levels of toxic chemicals like arsenic and fluoride were found in wells all throughout our country. Those chemicals cause cancer and are a death sentence for hundreds of thousands of families. The way I see it, I cannot rely on anyone but myself in the coming water war. I can't even rely on the water I might have on my land or even underground because they plan to take it from me. You see, everything is connected. They want to take our guns, our water, our freedom and independence. But what can we do? Thankfully, I found out about an innovative secret technology that the Israeli army uses to make water in the desert. It's not anything like an expensive desalinization or a huge water drilling station. It's a simple device that transforms moisture from the air into water. It's the ultimate portable endless spring. A chemistry professor invented this unique system that taps into a virtually unlimited water source. It's used by Israeli army forces stuck in the desert that have practically no access to any water sources. This device is based on a simple condensation principle. It takes the humidity out of the air and transforms it into water. It then filters it and gives up to 50 gallons of water per day. It all sounded perfect until I found out how much it would cost me. Some greedy corporations got their hands on the technology and they're selling these machines to regular folks. Well, regular folks who can afford to pay $6,000 up to $10,000. I'm not even kidding. They're that expensive. They're selling them for such a high price because they know the U.S. will soon be desperate for water. It was obvious I couldn't afford one, so I thought to myself, maybe I can reverse engineer it and build one of my own. The thing is, this device was exactly what I needed. It completely eliminated the hassle of spending a small fortune on bottled water or drilling new wells. And I knew it was going to give me fresh, clean water because it comes straight from the air. So I won't have to rely on tap water and untrustworthy filters anymore. That means it's not water from some contaminated lake or well. So you don't have to worry about fluoride, heavy metals like lead and arsenic, or cancer-causing pesticides. Because you already know there's no possibility the water is tainted. You can get water straight from the air, so you know none of these nasty substances has ever touched it. And perhaps even more important, the water is more oxygenated, so it improves the metabolism in your body. It costs less than bottled water and even tap water. The Israeli army uses this simple device to give them 50 gallons of water per day in the middle of the desert, so you know it's going to work anywhere, no matter how dry it is in your area. This technology has been tested and proven to work, and now it's successfully used by army forces all over the world. If it really worked, I knew I had everything I need to make my own. So I decided to build my own H2O Dynamo. But I'm not nuts. I wasn't going to spend thousands of dollars on one of these machines. I didn't have the money to buy it in the first place. So I set myself a limit of $300. If it cost even a penny over my budget, I was going to quit the project and look for other options. First, I started to make some blueprints. I already had a device in mind, so I put it on paper and sent them to a buddy of mine that makes water coolers. He explained a few essentials I got wrong. I knew the device was already proven to work, so it was just a matter of time until I got it right. I made some adjustments and sent him the sketches again, and this time, they were bang on. I couldn't believe it. In theory, I had already made my own H2O Dynamo. I knew from here on it was just a matter of executing, so I started working on it. 
I'm not going to lie, I had some hard times till I put it together. It was frustrating, to say the least. After a couple of weeks locked in my garage, I finally pulled it off. I made my own H2O Dynamo, and it cost me a little less than my initial budget of $300. This device gives me up to 10 gallons of fresh, pure, clean water per day for me and my entire family to use, and it costs $0.09 cents per hour to keep it running. That's less electricity than keeps a PC running. When I finished putting it together, I was so happy I found my own portable oasis that I had to show it off. I called a couple of my friends to see what I've been working on, and they couldn't believe it. Each and every one of them asked me if I can build one for them, and I did. The best part is, since I already knew how to make it, it took me less than 20 minutes to build others. That's when it hit me. There are probably a lot of people like me and my friends looking for an unlimited water source, and I knew it wasn't fair of me to have this secret all to myself. My wife came up with this great idea, though. She thought I should make some kind of step-by-step -step tutorial so people could put together their own H2O Dynamo. I was a bit skeptical at first. I was thinking I could sell some online for a quarter of what corporations are selling them, but that would mean I'm no better than they are. And I knew this isn't about making money. I mean, I mean sure, I like to get paid for my hard work. Who doesn't? In the end, this is about helping people in the coming water war against these greedy corporations and our power-hungry government. So I decided my wife was right, and I started to put together a step-by-step -step program. After about a month of writing and editing, I finally turned my H2O Dynamo plans into a special report. World War Water. Fight the mega drought and quench your family's thirst. It's the only proven-to-work guide on how to survive America's tough 100-year-long drought. It gives you survival strategies and the easiest step-by-step -step ways you can build your own H2O Dynamo. I put together these simple instructions so you can provide clean, fresh water for your family no matter what happens. And the best part is, you don't need any DIY skills to build it. It's so simple, anybody can do it. If you can build Legos with your kids, you can make your own H2O Dynamo. This step-by-step -step guide was designed for everyone. No expensive, tricky filters or unaffordable desalinization plants. In just 30 minutes, World War Water turns you into a drought survival expert with your own H2O Dynamo. Here's just a glimpse at what building your own H2O Dynamo does for you and what's inside the World War Water Special Report. The H2O Dynamo taps into a virtually unlimited supply of fresh, crystal clear, healthy water because the device collects moisture from the air, even in the driest deserts of Israel, and transforms it into water. It's an endless reservoir of fresh H2O, and you'll discover how to put together your own H2O Dynamo for under $300 in under 30 minutes of your time. Not only will you have a foolproof way to keep your family healthy and hydrated, but this is the ultimate currency in a drought-stricken America. It's like having a gold mine in your backyard. The H2O Dynamo can actually make you a profit when a gallon of water will cost more than oil. Yes, you can even improve your health drinking the H2O Dynamo water because more oxygenated H2O benefits your metabolism. The entire H2O Dynamo system weighs under 6 pounds, so you can put it in a backpack and bug out whenever you want to, without having to drag around gallons of water and break your back whenever you go camping. If space is a problem for you, you'll never have to worry again about storing water, because you only have to turn on the H2O Dynamo, and it will make water on demand. Or if you want to store water, all you need to do is leave it on, and it will make as much water as you need. And just imagine never having to buy another bottle of water in your entire life. You'll be able to immediately cut your water bill by up to 90% and save thousands of dollars. That's just a taste of what the H2O Dynamo does for you. Believe it or not, there's more. If you get the World War Water Special Program right now, you'll also receive three exclusive reports completely free of charge. Each of them is filled with strategies and recommendations to help you with your water supply and to shield yourself and your family from the coming 100-year-long drought. Please keep in mind that this is a one-time offer only available if you get the World War Water program right now. And soon, this deal might be off the table. First, you'll get How to Store and Secure Your Water Reserves, the ultimate guide for water storage. You already have the perfect solution to make as much water as you need. This special report will show you all the must-know strategies and best-kept secrets for stockpiling the water you're generating. You'll find out about all the important tools and equipment you'll need, the best and most surprising places where you can keep your water, how to keep your water running even on freezing days, and much more. Perhaps even more important, you'll get to know everything you should be aware of when you're storing water. Just imagine having this knowledge. You'll never second-guess yourself anymore when it comes to your water stash. 
And second, you'll get How to Purify and Mineralize Water, a special report on how to get rid of expensive filters and make sure you're drinking only the healthiest water. It gives you all the DIY techniques to purify any kind of water and turn it into crystal clear, fresh H2O. You'll find out nine secret techniques to get the most from even the dirtiest water source. Discover everything you'll ever need to know about filtration, boiling, solar water disinfection, how iodine works, and more. You'll even get to know the insider's secret about how you can use banana peels to filter water and everything you need to know about water remineralization. This is important because you'll need the minerals in your water, especially if you can't eat properly or you've been out in the nauseating heat. So no matter what happens, you'll have the power to turn any kind of water into fresh, clean, and healthy H2O. And finally, you'll get my special report, The Deadly Agents Hidden in Your Water. This special course shows you everything you need to know about the invisible toxins in your water. Even though your water may seem perfectly safe to drink, you might be in for a world of pain. This special report gives you all the information and knowledge to identify each and every one of these poisonous substances, from fluoride, arsenic, and lead, to parasitic protozoa, parasitic worms, and other viruses and bacteria. Plus, you'll find out the six ways nature contaminates your water and how to stay away from them. This special guide will give you practical knowledge to prevent and treat waterborne infections and will expose the ineffective water purification methods and equipment that actually do more harm than good. So you'll know what to stay away from and what's actually safe. If sold separately, each of these reports would cost $49. But today, I'm willing to give them to you completely free of charge if you get the World War Water course right now. After going through World War Water, you'll never feel all the nerve-wracking stress and uncertainty every time you pour yourself a glass of water. You'll never worry again about what microscopic parasites are in your water. In just 30 minutes, you can build yourself the only unlimited water source you'll ever need. And this guide walks you through each and every step to do it. You don't need to know anything about plumbing, chemistry, or engineering. No intricate mechanisms or overly complicated circuits or pipes. This video is so easy to follow. My 14-year-old son put together his own H2O Dynamo in under 30 minutes, all by himself. I made sure they're so easy to understand, anybody can follow them. You'll instantly get access to all the resources and power, not only to have clean, pure water for the rest of your life, or go through the worst drought humanity has ever seen. You'll have the power to handle yourself in any type of disaster. You know how water is the first thing to get cleared off the shelves before a hurricane? Well, you will never have this problem anymore. In fact, no matter what disaster may come our way, this portable device will supply water for you, your family, and even an entire community if you have to. And plus, in a drought-stricken America, where water becomes the ultimate resource, where the essence of life becomes rarer than gold, this is the ultimate bargaining tool. You'll have the power to haggle for anything with anyone, because when everybody else will beg for a sip of water, you'll have a device that creates H2O out of thin air. You'll have the power to protect and look after your family, even to rebuild your community during the worst times. You'll instantly shield your family from the worst drought in the last thousand years. This device is capable of giving you an abundance of fresh, clean, and pure water, no matter how dry it's going to be. The third world problems already started in the Western world, and water scarcity is the most dangerous one. Water is the only source for food, energy, and health, and you and your loved ones will be safe while the rest of the world will be struggling not to give in to hunger, fear, disease, and despair. Like it's already happening all over Africa, Latin America, and countries in Asia like India, Bangladesh, China, and Nepal. I spent over three months to come up with the perfect solution. I researched and worked like a madman to build my own H2O Dynamo, till I was finally able to perfect it. Then I had to spend over a month to make sure I gave the easiest, most simple, and best instructions so anyone can build one. H2O Dynamo really fixes all of these problems. You'll never have to worry about how much you spend on water, no matter how high the prices will skyrocket. You'll never worry about how safe your tap water is, and you'll have all the water you'll ever need for almost no money at all once you've built your H2O Dynamo. So how much is having a device like this worth to you? Just think about the amount of money you spend on water right now. The average American drinks 180 gallons of bottled water per year. If a gallon costs $7, then you're spending about $1,260 each year on bottled water. And that's just for one person. Think about how much you probably spend for your entire family. The cost for a gallon of tap water is almost 200 times less than a gallon of bottled water. So you could stop buying bottled water to spend less, but we all know that that would basically mean risking your life. Whenever I showed my H2O Dynamo to one of my friends and asked them how much they'd pay to have something like this in their own home, and all of them said I'd pay over $1,000. 
I guess that's why corporations can afford to sell them for so much, even though it couldn't possibly cost them over $500 to make one. This program isn't going to cost you anything near to what you currently spend on tap water. I'm not going to charge thousands of dollars like you'd have to pay for a water generator bought from greedy corporations. It's not going to cost you $1,000, which you probably already spend each year on water for yourself. Not even $500. I want to make this available for as many people as possible to free themselves from the shackles of power-hungry governments and corporations. So that's why, today, if this video is still up, you can get the World War Water Special